I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks. If you've got a Pulsar Thermal Front add-on, like the Super Compact Proton, or the Super High Spec Krypton, you'll know how easy it is to set up. From the first time you use it, 9 times out of 10, the PSP adapter does it all by eye in a couple of minutes, to give you a thermal point of impact that's as true as your rifle scope. But there's some clever precision fine tuning you can do with the Proton or Krypton and the PSP adapter if you need it on your initial setup. The size of your scope determines which of the three different size PSP adapters you'll need. It's the PSP56 in this case. Measure the objective belt for the correct size shim. You can apply strips of double sided tape at this point to help keep the shim in place within the adapter. Screw the adapter to your thermal, starting off taking care not to cross thread it. Then slot it all the way onto your scope, as far as it will go. Before you lock it into place, align the adapter so it sits squarely with your scope turrets. Then apply the quick release lever, which you can tighten if necessary, only one and a half to two newton meters, so it can open without a struggle. Now adjust the two large hex bolts at the front of the adapter, just enough until the thermal can move and rotate on its axis with some light pressure but still hold its position. Get the thermal as level and straight as you can, then look through the scope. Then turn the thermal on and see how the thermal display shifts in relation to the scope's reticle. Call up the main menu and you'll get an easy central point of reference for your crosshairs. And when it's nice and level and in the middle, you can tighten the bolts to 6.5 to 7.5 newton meters of force till they're firmly secure. In most instances, that's all you need to do, but you can check and calibrate the display with a zeroing shot. And for that, you need a thermal target. This one is my favorite, but other foil wrap chocolates are available. At the same range, you've zeroed your scope. For this demonstration, we just tripod mounted at 40 meters. I've slightly angled the target to catch the sun and provide a decent thermal signature from the chocolates. The one in orange foil is my aiming point, but the actual point of impact is a bit off and that's where I've placed the red chocolate. Here's what's recorded on the Krypton, and this view is through the scope, so you can see the reticle as well as the target and the chocolates. A touch of zoom on the scope will make the next step a bit easier. That should be okay magnified to time 7 So to calibrate the display, Tape a chocolate to the centre of the target and take a shot. Then back at the target, stick another foil wrap chocolate over the point of impact. Now on your Krypton or Proton, hold the menu button for 10 seconds until you see the display calibration screen. It is important to keep the rifle steady for the next step, securing it in position over your aiming point with something like a bench rest. If you look at the screen on the left, that's where I aimed, and that's where the shot landed. With X coordinate selected and the rifle steadied, see how the screen moves relative to the reticle as I press the right and left menu buttons. For the Proton, you control that movement by rotating the menu dial. When you're happy with the X coordinates, just there. You can repeat the process for Y coordinates, moving the point of impact up or down until it's right on the crosshairs. Press the menu button to save your settings, and if you want to take another shot, you're good. That's it. Now you can take your Krypton on and off your scope as much as you like. Or your Proton, and be confident it's always zeroed with no further adjustments needed. You can even switch your thermal between rifles. Just make a note of the display calibration coordinates for each setup and adjust your display accordingly. There you go. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe. Or for more information about the Pulsar Krypton, or Proton Front Add-on, visit thomasjacks.co.uk. I'm Dave at Thomas Jacks. Thanks for watching.